Here's the Prescott Valley, and we're like in this beautiful, as you can see, like sandstone um, area. And it just shows the difference between like the Sedona Red Rocks, and then we have like this beautiful sandstone, kind of like bubbly rock area, which I really like. And then I'm going to drive by Watson Lake. I'll show you guys Watson Lake. That's kind of a pretty area as well. I've done like a photo shoot up there. Good place to have a picnic and hang out with your friends as well. But there's a lot of pretty, um, yeah, Arizona is beautiful. I mean, and I'm riding in the end of January. And I'm going, I think, a long sleep under this. Just one thermal. And it's, again, amazing temperature. Right, I'll show you Watson Lake in a second. I think I'm going to try to you guys a little bit oh my god that's a pretty sad lake there's normally a lot more water in there but all right it's not like lake geneva or lac Montbel or well we're in arizona we're not really known for our lakes to be honest so okay moving on to downtown so this is downtown prescott or prescott i think it, i say prescott but this is a beautiful area where um, there's like a nice square and, you know, just the downtown of this valley and the area. But to be honest, I feel like if I were to live anywhere in Arizona, obviously I live in Sedona right now, but I'd probably be either in Scottsdale Cave Creek area or in here. I like the Prescott Valley because I'm not too known with it, but there's like a, the Lone Spur Cafe. That's like a little western cowboy spot to get your eggs and bacon but i'm going to show you where i'm going to show you where, where i'm going to stop and go over my bike real quick and also grab a bite to eat but this spot this square is so nice especially on a day like this it's just you could have a picnic or hang out with your friends and it's a motorcycle friendly town it's a hardly motorcycle friendly town for sure I think people like to see the Ducati here as well. Alright, well there you go. That's our first major stop. I'm going to go in there to the organic cafe and grab a bite. But oh my god, you guys. I'm just breaking in the tires and wheels nice and easy. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is so amazing, this whole setup. It completely changed how my bike feels. But okay, I need to eat and then we're gonna hop back and then continue down south on some more amazing roads. Okay, here we go. Lunch. Sometimes I like to like walk in and film like the restaurant I'm eating at, but it's so awkward sometimes doing that, so. This is a moto vlog. Not a restaurant vlog. Again through downtown, but why I'm in downtown is because just literally three miles that way behind that hill is where we're about to drop into some amazing switchbacks. So I'll turn the camera back on when I get to that point. So yeah, it sucks sometimes when you're charging your GoPro and then it just it won't turn on when it's on your helmet. That's really annoying. I just experienced that. Either way, this is White Spar. This is 89 after you leave downtown Fresca. And so there's some gravel in these corners, but it's it's nice. It's good conditions right here on this part. It could get whoa, hey, Arizonian. See all that sand in that corner right there? Oh man, we're coming up this side. It's so much fun. I hope it's recording this because my GoPro is just glitching hard, so... Oh, you see all these rocks? All those rocks right there in the road. That's sweat. This is everywhere in the world, but very common here in Arizona. We'll be coming in a corner in a section just like this. Well, that looks like some slippery black 
rough surface. Either way, still really well breaking these tires and still really well breaking and wow. I talk a completely different language and I'm riding on a motorcycle. I'm gonna pick up the pace. Let's get this bike moving. Let's get this bike moving. There she is. The bike speed. Loves the tight technical stuff. Absolutely loves the bumpy. more confident now. Let's get around all this black stuff, all this water you see. Even when the sun's out you're still gonna have water. The snow melting off and underneath and in the road. But today is a great day and I'm glad the camera turned back on that way you guys get to see this beautiful road called White Spar. And this is fine now that I guess some guy I just caught him because this road gets really, really aggressive here. And I think that guy's letting me go through sweet. You see, we do have good roads in Arizona. I mean, look at this. This is awesome. It's just road service is pretty bad in most places and the maintenance it's just not well maintained like it is in Europe and then you got really bizarre and silly drivers but again normally I come way hot and fast in these corners if I'm doing laps but I don't know I'm gonna encounter like some wet patches and some gravel. Like that corner right there. There's some tourists having gravel at the bottom. Ooh, ooh, wet stuff, you see? I wanna come like heavy out of the corner accelerating, but I got super courses. Wins. But again, I'm just trying to focus. I want to get down to Yarnell. Yarnell would be where we could really push this bike a little bit more, but then look out for the cops. And now, oh, you see dirt. Whoop! A little patch of dirt. Squeeze through that. This pike speak, this particular pike speak is, I have to say, one of the fastest pike speaks in the world, without a doubt. Okay, so now we start on our descent, I believe, on the back side a little bit. Just saying, it's up to the Harley guys, nice and easy. Looking out for cars pulling out of corners. Now that that part right there, the straightaway is normally where I turn around session what I just filmed you guys because this section oh my god you see that there's like gravel all the way there there's potholes with water and then you see I can't like you can't come flying through that corner no way not in the winter time summertime sure summertime this place is crawling with other cops and riders Oop, 
Oh my god, just a little pothole of water in it. I didn't really see that until last minute. I'm just really loving my bike right now and I really want to push it through these corners, but... I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to turn the camera back on when I get to that mountain over there. Let's pass these guys real quick. So, I just passed through the valley. And I'm on top of the mountain heading down Yardell. And this just shows you some corners over down here. But I'm going to stop at the park and take a little break. And then what I really want to film is coming up and then down. I already have this video where I was following Josh Heron on a Hyper Motard 950 SP. But, and I also have a video where I was riding the bike speed on this, on this exact mountain. But, because I know that the road is smoother, as you can see, um, I want to do a few laps just to really sink my tires into their that's first level of breaking in. But this is just the top half. So that's where cars are pulling in and out. I just want to slow down here. Make my way over to the observatory. Well, I got to check a few things out. Oh cool, I got like the old place to myself. Some old geezers. Alright. Let me see. Let me just turn this bike off real quick. So, I don't know if you guys could see this. Oh yeah, there you go. There's your now. So I'm going to come whipping up this road. And then back down, but the Pikes Peak is holding up great. Um, as you can see right there a little bit more, but not that you care about that video because I'm about to ride up and show you. So, all right, let's take a quick break, check over the Pikes Peak. But honestly, guys, my bike is completely transformed. I thought I could handle the power 
of any situation but now with these carbon wheels it changes everything so i'm going to get into a little bit of that but um let's get these fully linked over first i'm going to go back up so this is literally yeah now again and again and again with this bike and going uphill is just whoa is that gravel no no whoop no it's like gravel it's so funny you can never tell all right so should, should we stop yeah maybe we should stop god that was so much fun okay guys so that's like an uphill of uh yeah now right there these people are still sitting here, which is bizarre. That guy knows I'm doing laps, but wow. Was that so cool or what? Was that epic or what? Man, this bike is just... Uh, it's next level. Okay, that's what I wanted to accomplish. I just wanted to get, you know, the tires on both sides ripped down a little bit. And tomorrow we're going to do some barlet runs, but... Yeah, Super Corsa is holding up well. Carbon wheels, fantastic. What I noticed with the carbon wheels is the balance, whipping it back and forth. Obviously, the wheels are really light, and that gyroscopic effect of when you're trying to throw the bike over is just so much faster now. Plus, the fact that they're way light and you have this acceleration. So, like, when I'm at a stop and I take off, I'm like, oh, that's normal with an after second gear. The bike just, like, moves, like, two bike lengths ahead of it. It's just so impressive. So, I'm really looking forward to try these out on the track. Obviously, that's what everyone really says what they're for. But, man, out here in the road, like, this is a great combination. I'm super happy. I'm going to, yeah, I almost want to do one more lap, but it's kind of a chill day. I don't know. That was so much fun, though. I feel like since I'm out here, I should just do another lap. 
Okay, let's go see. But yeah, that's the viewpoint right there. Now this is the downside, backside of Yarnell. It's not like the two-way freeway you have there. It's mostly single road, but with some good corners, and then it like right at the bottom, when it's like all given up, there's two lanes again, but obviously I have to show you the backside if you've seen the front side. The front side's awesome. So here you just have to go slow. There's people and ambulances and the firefighters and stuff like that. But here we get to attack a little bit more. So now I'm officially on my way to the Ferrari dealership. I'm gonna have, like I said, my boy Russell tune my bike from Daniel over in Germany at Joyson's Motors. I did this already on the way down. I know it's safe, there's no rocks. Oh my god, I don't know if you guys could hear the sound of my bike right now, but echoing through this canyon. Police officer in front of me? It says D E A. D E. Oh my yeah. god. Is the D E A in front of me? No. That license plate doesn't mean that. But these police cars, you never know, man. I mean, I'm gonna slowly pass them at the bottom, but I'm not in the mood to get pulled over by a police officer right now. Still got what is it an hour and 22 minutes of flat flat arizona desert before i get to the ferrari dealership so no this isn't the police this guy just cruising either way i'm still filming because i just want to show you this road it's really nice, it's really windy, but to get out to Yarnell where I'm at right now, oh, it takes forever. You live in Phoenix and you do like a long, like almost an hour and a half, like two hours straight, just flat on your Penegale. Or you just do what you just watched, which was where I come from, Sedona. Cotton, Jerome, Prescott, White Spar. And this guy's not even staying on the road, so. And then to Yarnell. Alright, I don't think that's a cop, so we're safe. Alright, well, I'm pretty much going to tune out now because... Let me rip around this last corner. Because now I got like a really long straightaway, like really, really long straightaway. So that's there now. So again, it's not that much, but the surface of the road is really smooth and you can really get after it. But like I said, you gotta come way, way, way out to do it. And now, pretty much where you see those mountains over there and over there is where I gotta go. So like I said, I have another hour and 20 minutes. I'll turn it back on once I'm on the freeway and doing some stop still stuff. But there you go, that was um, Jerome de Presta at the White Smarty Yard now. And now we're made it south down here in Phoenix and heading uh, to the ferry. Alright, I'll see you back in a second.